Hello everyone, my name is uh, Gaurav Lakanpal. I am the Medical Director for Center for Vascular Medicine and uh, I'll explain the procedure of the angiogram to you today. So angiogram is basically a dye test which involves checking the art arterial circulation of the body, especially the lower extremities. So if you look at this, this uh, pictogram or the dep depiction here, this is your heart. It gives rise to this big red pipe which is called the aorta which is bringing good blood from the heart into the chest and the belly. And the belly button divides into these right and left groin branches which are also called the iliac arteries then continues down into the thigh then behind the knee and below the knee as these three red pipes which supply the foot people who are smokers who are diabetics who have high blood pressure who have high cholesterol who have family history can develop blockages in this circulation and the end point of these blockages if they're not attended to in a timely manner can be amputation because if the tissue downstream does not get enough oxygenated blood, it can develop gangrene and the next step is amputation. So the way we treat this blockages in this circulation, what we call the arterial blockage or peripheral arterial disease is number one by medical therapy, which includes use of aspirin, controlling your cholesterol by using statins, control of diabetes, control of blood pressure, and, in, and also walking every day, 30 to 45 minutes, six to seven days a week, and if you are a smoker, that's the number one recommendation to quit smoking completely. Now to open up the blockages, we have a procedure called an angiogram, which basically involves shooting dye or putting dye into these arteries, identifying where the blockage is. Sometimes we will put in an ultrasound catheter through the blockage once we are able to cross it. And then we have our cleaning devices, which are called atherectomy devices to help clean out as much of the blockage, put in a balloon to stretch the blockage out and if needed, put in, putting in a stent. Now, most of the times these procedures are performed using contrast dye, but if a patient has any kind of allergic reaction or a very severe allergy to contrast dye, or they have bad kidney function, which can further compromise the kidneys if we use the dye, then we have an alternative to the contrast dye, which is carbon dioxide gas, which basically is injected through the same procedure. However, the patient just breathes the gas out and there is no damage to the kidneys at all. Thank you.